My name is Neil Malik from Knack Training and today's Everyday Office video is about Office 365 group sharing and membership settings. So if you haven't seen yesterday's video yet, if you don't know how to create an Office 365 group, please take a second, click out right now, watch how to create that Office 365 group and why. Now, we have an Office 365 group here for the team Project Sequoia. So everybody who's working on Project Sequoia has an email account, projectsequoia at knack.onmicrosoft.com. That's also craftsoft.xyz. And in addition to that, we also have a SharePoint location, etc. I can click on to the Project Sequoia entry right here. You can see why the group ID here is the craftsoft.xyz. That's just my Office 365 settings. And you can see that there is one whole member of that group. Okay. So I am the only member of this Office 365 group today. Um, but as you can see, if I'm in the admin portal, so portal.office.com in my Office 365 portal, if I'm an administrator, I should be able to go over to the groups icon on the left, click on groups, then find the group that I'm interested in and to edit the membership of said group. Steve Rogers to this group. There we go and click save. And so now there are two members of the Office 365 group if I had access to the uh, portal for Office 365. Now, in addition to that, if I go off to Microsoft Outlook and if I am the administrator of that team, if I go over here to the Office 365 group entry for Project Sequoia on the left side of my screen and click on to add members up at the top of the screen, uh, you'll see here that I can add somebody like, uh, let's go Natasha, for example. So there's Natasha's account. Great. And click OK. And now I have Neil and I have Steve and I have Natasha as members of the group. Now, if I go to edit group down here at the bottom, I also have the ability to change different settings within that group. Or if I realize that Natasha should not be a member of the group, I can always use the little X here to get rid of her from this group. Now, in addition to using Outlook and in addition to using the admin portal, I can also work with settings through the SharePoint setup. So here in Outlook, I can click on my files link and be taken directly to the uh, OneDrive location that we share, the SharePoint location that we share. You can see here that this has completely updated. It's got my Neil Malik account, it's got the Steve Rogers account, and it's got the Natasha Romanoff account as all people who are members of this group. Now if I click on three members over here on the right hand side, I can add more members by using the add members button right here. And I can also get rid of Steve if I don't think he should be a member of the group anymore. Let me go ahead and add a new member and I'll just go ahead and add James. There we go to the group and save. And the interesting thing about Office 365 groups is that the assumption here is that we're all working together, we're all collaborating on some project, and so we don't really have uh, settings as far as, you know, who has the specific level of permission. It's just all about membership to these sites. And so you've now seen three different places where we can either add or remove people from the Office 365 group. We have the admin portal, where I can come in here and remove any of these people I like. We have Outlook itself, where I can edit the group and change the membership. And we have the actual SharePoint site itself. When we click on the members entry on the far right, we can decide to remove or to add additional people to the Office 365 group.